Welcome back everyone for another week of BP Kids Online. We're so excited to get started because we are starting a brand new theme called the main event. December is already a super exciting month because Christmas is just around the corner. But we know that the main event of Christmas is all about Jesus. And we can't wait to talk more about that this month with you guys. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Did I miss it? Miss what? Miss our trip. The one that we've been planning for months. What, what trip? Hey, give me a second. Put on your sunglasses. What? What? Where, where are we going? Hawaii, remember? Like last year we were like, we should go to Hawaii. In December, when it gets cold and it starts snowing. Um, Come on, I have our suitcase, let's go. We're gonna be late. Okay, hold on, like, what do you have? I'm okay, well I have our suitcase, all of our goods. I have this basketball so that we can play basketball. <laughs> okay, and I have this compass so that we can see where we're going when we're lost in the rainforest. And I have this bucket so that we can build sand castles. Come on, let's go. Um, Dedica. Mm hmm. I hate to break it to you, but uh, our trip is canceled. What? This month, we're talking all about the main event. What does that mean? Well, it's all about when Jesus was born, when he came down to earth as a baby. When you think about that, that's amazing. It's so incredible. Today, our monthly verse comes from the book of Luke chapter two, verses 10. In this part of the announcement, angels had appeared to shepherds out in the valley, far away from the town of Bethlehem, and they brought great news. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, I bring you good news. It will be great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. The angels were there talking about the Messiah, the new king of Israel. That's incredible. So here we have the main event, Mary, Joseph, having this beautiful new baby named Jesus, and angels appeared in the heavens and told shepherds to come to see the baby. That is amazing. Have you ever tried making plans? Plans to go to school, plans to hang out with a friend, plans to hang out with your family, or maybe schedule to watch your favorite TV show? I think all of us at some point in our lives are trying to make plans for something, but our plans don't always go exactly the way we think they're gonna go. But our big idea today is that we can celebrate God's plans. No matter what our plans might be, or maybe if our plans don't happen, we can still rely on God's plan and follow in whatever direction He might lead us and whatever He wants us to do. Before Mary and Joseph actually became Jesus' parents, they lived pretty normal lives. They, you know, would wake up in the morning, Joseph would probably go to work, and everything was normal. They were planning to get married and everything was going just as planned. But then one day an angel appeared to Mary and everything changed. I'm sure you're familiar with the story of when the angel came to Mary and told her that she was going to give birth to a son and he was to be named Jesus. And that is the main event. That's what we're talking about all throughout this month because during December we have Christmas. And Christmas is where we celebrate the birth of Jesus, God's plan to save the world. So let's read the Bible story together. An angel appeared to and spoke to Mary and told her God's great plan for all people, that Jesus would come to earth in the form of a little baby. God wanted Jesus to be on earth and God wanted Mary to be in on this great plan. Of course, Mary was shocked. She might have even been really scared. She wasn't married and wondered what people would think if she had a baby already, but she chose to follow and celebrate this great plan that God had. 
Some time later, Joseph, who was now engaged to Mary, was visited by an angel in a dream while he was sleeping. Joseph was worried about Mary and the baby, but the angel told Joseph that Mary's baby was indeed God's son, so he didn't need to be afraid. And I'm sure you know how the rest of the story goes. Mary and Joseph, they did have baby Jesus, and in a stable of all places, an unlikely place for the Prince of Heaven to be born, but it was exactly what God had planned. Lots of times our plans don't go exactly how we think they're going to go. But the important thing for us to remember is that God's plans always go the way he knows that they're going to go. So just like Mary and Joseph, they went along with whatever it was God wanted for them. We can do the same. When our plans change or unexpected things happen, we can trust that God has a plan and no matter what happens, we can rely on him. This month, we're talking all about the main event, about the birth of Jesus. And this week, we're talking about how God has plans for us. He has plans for me. He has plans for you. Even though we might make our own plans and those plans might change, God's plans are always static. And today, I want to read from you from the book of Jeremiah 29, verses 11. I know the plans I have for you, announces the Lord. I want you to enjoy success. I do not plan to harm you. I will give you hope for the years to come. Hope, that's something that we know plans will get better. Right now in your life, maybe your plans have changed for Christmas, maybe even for school. Some of the fun things that you had planned, like your field trip coming up with your friends or birthday parties might be on hold for a while. But God still has good plans for our lives our own plans may change, but God's plans for us will always be for the good. Ryan, what do you mean it's canceled? I know, it's so awful that our trip got canceled, but I'm so excited. you know what, there's nothing that we can do about it. And even though this trip got canceled and this plan isn't gonna work, we can make new plans. Yeah, we can, we, you're right. Let's just, we can have a vacation here. That's a good idea. We got the, we have the bubbles. We mm -hmm. have we have our compass. Maybe we can go on an, an adventure. Mm -hmm. um, we can't really use this for a sand castle, but we could make a snow castle. That's a good idea. You no, know, we might not be in Hawaii, but mm -hmm. but we can we can still have fun, right? Mm -hmm. We have all of our things packed, and and we can we can just have a good time. Have here. a good time here. Make new plans. You know when plans change it can be kind of hard for us to really go with the flow or be okay with maybe what was what was changed. But I think because of our big idea today, we can remember that God's plans are the most important. And just like Mary in our Bible story, mm -hmm. I mean, she had plans to get married and, and her life was going great, but God changed those plans and it ended up being for the better. Mm -hmm. So I think we can remember that today in our planning and in this season that we're going through, maybe if our plans get canceled, then we can just enjoy it mm -hmm. and embrace it and maybe make new plans and just see what God wants us to do. Yeah, thanks, Rianne. I mean, I was pretty upset about the trip being canceled, but now I know that we can have fun here and that the plans change for the better. Well, we're so glad that you're able to join us for another week of BP Kids Online. Make sure you tune in over the next week. We have another Make It Monday coming out and we're gonna continue in our series called The Main Event. You're not gonna wanna miss it and we'll see you next time.